This is the first time I've built a model and I think it turned out pretty good. I'm calling the design Crow. I usually work full scale, frankly, so um, I was happy with the process. Okay, here's what I'm up to. I'm completely bored. I have uh, had hip surgery. Hey Tango, you're down there too. There you go. Hey babe. All right. So I figure I can't build real boats, so I'm going to build a little model boat out of uh, cereal boxes. Great, great advertising for uh, for cornflakes. Well, that's what I'm doing. My initial drawings were uh, the only one to scale was the profile drawing. So I reworked the, the front and stern views and then scaled it on graph paper and transferred it to the cardboard for cutting out. It worked pretty good actually. Okay, here's the progress of the uh, model I'm working on. Um, very, very sturdy. Lots of framing. And I just put the bottom on. And I'm pretty pleased how it turned out. It's just a cardboard, uh, cardboard um, model. But a nice arc bottom on the on the rear section, and a chined approach to the bow section. But at the end, the bow transom and the stern transom have a nice curve set on it, and the side of the hull has a has a nice uh, nice arc to it. So I imagine this actually would be a very good um, stable sailor. In the Uh, I thought I'd uh, make a model. Actually, it was uh, Brian Matthews from uh, the Can American Cruising Association that suggested the idea. So thank you, Brian, um, because it got me out of a bit of a slump. I was feeling kind of useless, and uh, believe it or not, a cereal box cardboard model actually satisfies uh, a few urges. You feel industrious. Uh, I'm getting ideas out there and, and playing with them and seeing if they look good or not. So this is what I've, I've got. Uh, the concept is it's only 16 feet long by, what was it, uh, six foot and a half beam. And um, it's designed to be shoal draft. And uh, we have a lot of rocks up by us. So um, I wanted to be able to crash anything and, and have the hull survive. So there's lots of framing and um, some solid runners and a good skeg to protect the rudder. Um, and this sail's flopping around. I went and put the hot milk glue back. It's a bit on a steep angle here. I'd probably prop it a little bit more like this in the actual build. But the idea of a model, oh, to continue on uh, what this is all about, um, it's designed because I've sailed Georgian Bay quite a bit and it can get nasty. I like the idea of uh, sailing it from inside when it gets miserable on you and uh, when it's nice go out in the cockpit and sail it from there. So the whole object of this is it's got a 360 degree view lots of uh, lots of Lexan all the way around. Um, these are technically meant to look like eyes uh, and it's a bit of a throwback to the Greeks and, and the Romans and whatnot. The, the older ships all had eyes. We were all very superstitious. Now we're modern aged and we're still superstitious. Uh, but the, in actual fact, it's not going to be solid. It will be another piece of Lexan, which is going to be an opening port. So I've I figured out in my head how to arrange that. And it would be something that most people could do themselves. It's just basically a couple good strong hinges gasketed and it will have like a, a through bolt that can be locked down or some tabs or something to lock it into position against the other Lexan. 
It also has not a hatch, although that is an easy option to put in. It has a door, and the door is designed so it opens and seats up against the other side without obstructing your view. So, and this hatch or door will also lock down pretty tight. So essentially, comfortable cockpit. I'm thinking of going with electric drive. Peter, again from the Cruising Association, um, he has my older sailboat, Whisper, and he's buzzing around quite nicely with a couple batteries and, and um, you need ballast in a sailboat anyways, a couple batteries and, um, and uh, an electric, I think he said 40 pound thrust, but you know, you get a 55 pound thrust uh, motor and um, it could be mounted in a little well up inside and if the steering were, um, were still remote, uh, basically the steering will just have a, a cleat that uh, I attach a little cable to and then you can go inside the boat and steer yourself. Uh, all the lines will run into the boat as well as out. So at any rate, uh, so the eyes are there as a practical uh, use uh, to add ventilation as well as, uh, as sort of the look. I'm calling this design Crow uh, because there's so many little phrases. Crows are kind of misunderstood. I'm sure the pram bow will meet with um, some, some comments. But if you notice on the pram bow, there's a nice arced bottom line on it. The hull is actually unique because it's built out of plywood, but you don't see very often a hull that has arc in it. So I especially did a cone shape at the, to the halfway mark. And then the front is not exactly a, um, it is flat panels, three flat panels that run. So stitching glued in the middle, but it creates, a, in, all, in all fairness, it creates essentially an arced bottom plywood boat. So not your boxy plywood boat that normally um, you would see. And you can see on the stern as well, a nice uh, arc. Now, you'll notice I put some blue lines on here. Ah, there goes the mizzen. Um, those blue lines are tentative, let's cut it off and trim it back. And, and uh, the actual trim line, which I'm thinking, I'm not going to go quite as wide as I made the model, is this, uh, this middle ground line here. So I'm, I'm going to trim it uh, just to make it a little bit more of a fair curve on the outside and to reduce the transom a little bit. That way, if we're running, it's not as apt to be picked up and shoved forward. Although a pram bow, the huge advantage of a pram bow is it doesn't tend to dig in and broach as easily as what a, a pointy bow does. And there's lots of room in the cockpit. Again, there's the second line. Uh, the front runners also, I felt, eh, initially I thought I'd make them a little bit bolder and I've, I've scaled those back because I, I prefer a more gradual entry because I crash up on the beaches, so I don't want the front end to be way up high. Uh, so I'd rather have the depth closer into the middle. Now, I also will have a center board in this, although uh, the object of these two runners is in part to help it sail in shallow waters, and again, to protect the bottom. So there you have it. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll rig it exactly as, a, as it's shown, um, but I sort of like printing off a crow and, and uh, putting it on there. and. Um, I think it would make a very cool design. So my 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 goal for this, because we don't have a load of money, and I, I my process is not sketches are boring, um, models are kind of cool, but still don't really show you what it can do. So I'd actually like to build the real thing, sort of quick and dirty uh, ways of building. And if you've seen any of my work, that's a little out of my nature. But um, I'm convinced that this can be built with just lumber yard. I actually plan to dumpster dive and see if I can collect materials dumpster diving for the most part. In fact, I already have quite a bit because I've, I took apart an old deck uh, not too long ago and the pressure treated, you flip the boards, pressure treated is good. So if you planed off that first surface layer, you'd have some pretty good uh, wood to, to construct a, a, a little sailboat like this. Closer lock. Closer luck. There you go. 360.
There you go. Now we're done.